Hi everyone please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel that will help me to create more such videos so uh, in last few videos we have seen how to be first different programs zinc efl uh, homework and different puzzles and in this video i am going to talk about how do we use a feature which is available in efl that is called persistent loop fuzzing so what we are going to do is that we will change our time vulnerable c program which we have been uh, fuzzing in our videos and uh, we will make some changes to that and then we will see how do we fuzz that and what kind of performance benefits we get out of that so the idea behind persistent mode is that when you fuzz a software when you fuzz a software using efl or any other program they actually uh, uses binary instrumentation to trace the program uh, flow uh, on what what are the basic blocks which are being executed and what are the paths which are being taken so uh, this was the instrument entire program but uh, suppose you want to first a part of the program uh, a very small part of the program then you don't need to instrument the entire program but what you can do is that you can and just instrument the part of the program which you want to fuzz and you can loop around that uh, particular piece of the code so afl offers uh, this feature called persistent mode and uh, it has been uh, very well described uh, by its author over here on this url that is uh, uh, lca uh, in tough.blogspot.com and uh, new in afl persistent mode so uh, he is actually given all the steps uh, you will require and uh, when you want to fuzz a program in persistent mode you don't need to do much uh, changes to your program but uh, you simply need to add one uh, while loop over uh, which you can see it over here like while uh, underscore underscore if uh, underscore loop and then in the bracket you need to mention the instance which uh, uh, sorry the uh, uh, loop iteration for which you want to uh, you want to iterate to iterate to this particular piece of code so what it will do is that it will go through this uh, Uh, code uh, which is inside the while loop and it will keep executing that and if it finds any crash it will save it and uh, otherwise it will move to the next uh, iteration so this is very useful when you want to fuzz an api uh, this is kind of uh, uh, same approach uh, more or less same i would say not exactly same which has been used by leaf fuzzer where you fuzz a part of the code so this is very helpful and it offers uh, a lot of performance improvement uh, as you can see so first uh, what we will do is that we will uh, change our program and when i will see program uh, we'll add this loop and then we'll compare the performance so let me do one thing i will simply copy img read uh, dot c and i will rename it as persistent dot c and let me open it so uh we simply need to add this while loop which has been mentioned over here so i will just copy this and i will add it inside my process image function so i hope that you have been following my older videos and you are comfortable with this program uh, if you are not i will quickly go through this so it is a very simple program it has a main function and then it is a process image function where it passes the first argument which is the uh, file name and then there is a structure that is by uh, image it has various fields like it has header width height and data and then uh, inside the process image function it opens a file there are two sandy checks and then inside a while loop it reads the data in the structure that is of image and then performs a lot of operation like it will add image width and it will add image height it will allocate some memory it will do some operation it will divide uh, width by height uh, so there are a lot of vulnerable condition over here there are double three that is used after three that is integer or no integer etc so uh, let me simply add this while loop and uh, uh, a good idea will be to uh, to add this while loop statement uh, where your program is going to start so here i have added over here before it opens the file and we will close it we will keep all the code all the vulnerable code inside that uh, 
they will uh, use our loop over here where it closes the file and then that's it so this is what you need to do you simply need to copy all your code which you want to parse if you want to parse in persistent mode then uh, just set all this code inside this file loop as i mentioned over here in the screen and you should be good to go so let me see it now and uh, we will compile it so one thing to notice over here is that uh, you need to use afl c length fast or afl c length fast plus plus because it uses uh, some compiler uh, uh, wrapper over here so uh, some compiler llvm pass to use over here so uh, if you use a afl gcc or uh, afl c length then it will give you compilation error so you will not be able to compile that so let me compile this uh, command is uh, our standard uh, i will just add it over here uh, we have enable address and undefined sanitizer actually it is system of c You can see that our code has been compiled, and uh, let me show you the inside uh, uh, our input directory or the it contains. So it contains single file that is one dot text, and it contains some uh, one 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 which is some random text over here. So uh, let me run our browser over here, and uh, what I will do is that I run uh, on under one window. I will run our Persistent mode further, and in the second window over here, uh, second uh, Tmux file, I will run our normal uh, further over here. So that will show you the uh, speed difference, which uh, we are supposed to uh, gain out here. So let me simply change. Okay, I already have this compiled. So let me start it first. Let's see if it first I will out. And let me make it copy over here. So the short form for persistent. I'm just using it and I'm persistent. It's okay. So you will notice that it shows a message that persistent mode binary is selected, and the speed you can see it is somewhere around 500 to 600. While in normal case, let's see, uh, my window is small because I'm in the podcast, so. Uh, you will notice that we are getting somewhere around 70 to 80 execution per second. So it is a like 10x uh, speed improvement we are getting uh, over here. Uh, and uh, at the max we are getting 10x. Now it is somewhere around 200 or 300. So uh, you can see that there is a considerable uh, speed difference between normal mode and the persistent mode. You can see it is somewhere around 65, 66 over here, 70. And here it is uh, 190 or 200. So, uh, this is how you first a program in persistent mode. And uh, it is very straightforward thing to do. And if you want to first create a particular piece of code which is very uh, small uh, inside uh, uh, your code, and you can use this approach, it is very helpful, it is very fast. 
and uh, this is how you uh, pass a program in persistent mode. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post it in the comment section or reach me out on the Twitter and I'll be very happy to answer that. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos that will motivate me to create more such videos. Uh, thank you and uh, till the next video, stay safe and uh, goodbye. Have a nice time.